Yo guys, welcome back here at Gaming from the Heart Official. So today, as said, it, it's finally time to install the tech elementer on my beautiful Devo Matisse. a little bit longer as actually expected now this car of course does not have a tachometer or something so I think we should should just get started let's just pop the hood and I'm gonna show you guys where this one is gonna be installed because it's a little bit different as normal cars since this is a 2000 model so let's open it up and let's see Right over here, show them. Right over here, this cable, that is the bobbin cable where it has to be installed. Now, if I pull this back here, you guys might maybe even see it, that there are cables. There we go. There are three pins on there, which is a little bit silver, and the, I need the upper one. And there's a green connector on the uh, tachometer, which should get on there. Now, nicest thing of all getting it off. I know from other cars that it can be a big deal to get them off so I don't know if it even has, has some security clips so I think we'll just get started and oh yes I still love my air filter ha what beautiful baby boy hello so that's what we are gonna do so I, I think I'm just gonna take a flat screwdriver and uh, yeah then we can start so Actually, the connector just goes to the uh, to the other side, and the other side goes directly again to the bobbin, not the distributor, but bobbin in this case. And there's a plate that turns around, which is going to, going to pulse, and that's how it can measure the RPM of the engine. I don't know if I reach 900 RPM or 950. I estimate a little bit higher, since I was. A little bit playing around with the idle uh, screw but uh, I think we just unpack the stuff and we'll see I especially waited for this time so I uh, forget let's see let's see let's see how can I unscrew this mm. so the brand is CN speed which I also could get in my country. Problem is, they are pretty expensive. So obviously we take the cheap side. AliExpress. You guys will get the link in the description. Now, I'm. this is pretty nice. Now, if, as you guys can see, it also comes already with cables. Now, probably you guys don't know how or what. Now, I, I already figured out what is, uh, what is possible, what is the exact wire. So, the green wire is the most important wire we are going to use in this case. So, this wire over here is going to be connected on this side from the other side of the bobbin. So, of course, everyone knows the black one is the ground. The red one is the is the positive terminal, and I believe the yellow one is for switching the lights. In case if you're stupid, you always have a manual, but we are not going to use it in this case. Bye. So, um, how can I get this one off? I think I'm just going to screw. Yeah, like that. 
Cool. I think that might work. Okay, like so. Boom. Okay, so. Nicest thing of all. You need also this in here, going inside. And then we need to make a little hole. Gonna be nice. Now, as you can see, here is the green wire. That over there, as you can see. And we should just connect that one and it will work. Now what I'm gonna do currently, it's very hard to show you guys, but now what I'm gonna do currently, I'm gonna try to get this one temporarily just in the uh, in the flat one which is the upper side of the terminal and then we're just popping it back in order if I do not I cannot start the engine because it does, it's not gonna work and that should be it now we finally got it back in took a little a bit time Nicest thing is now to get it on without that it just jumping off. That's gonna be nice. That's gonna be a little story. That's gonna be nice. Now, just hope that it's not popping off and that the green wire is staying on it. There we go. Now, I can feel it's a little bit okay. So, now, let's look at this, we have a set screw. So that, this means if this one is not correct, like it is now, it's saying my, and it, I, it's saying over here, you guys cannot see it, but it's saying it making 3200 RPMs. Sounds quiet, so that's not right. Let's set this one. that and I'm gonna look on this thing here Blech. just in case if not everything is okay I want to make sure that I'm installing it correctly so um yeah I think we are gonna going to get started for the black and red wire and we will be back with you guys whenever we have done that and I'm gonna tell you how we did it. Alrighty, alrighty. Now, we got this finally done. Lovely daddy helped me a bit out. Now, this is, just don't look too weird about the setup. I mean, the um, white one is actually normally a switch. So, just go to the key contact normal ones. But yeah, I mean, uh, we don't have too much ish of options here. So we just do it temporarily and um, yeah, I think we're just uh, going to start up the engine, and let's see. Now, let's see if I can put this one somewhere where it's stable. Somewhere, I don't know, maybe. Do we have also an option for this? That's called good thinking. Okay, now, let's see if this is going to work out. I'm wondering if it does. Let's hope it's not going to be boo, where I'm always afraid of. That's always afraid boy. Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah. 
We've got some RPMs, baby. Let's see. Now let's set this baby a little bit different. Okay, now I, the problem is I do not currently know which cylinder has been selected. That's a little issue, so we've got to find that out. Of course it's a bobbin, so it has some delay. That's obvious. But it seems like, however, the RPM setting is correct. And this is not going to work. Okay. That was definitely not 4K. I guess it's time for a new half gasket, and also, it's going to be a big issue. Beautiful intake. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Took a little bit of time since it was starting up, so just don't know why. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah. I lost my play toy. Hey, everything is fine away. Stupid thing. This should be the correct setting. It should show nine, 900 or 950. As you can see, we are on 1K. So that means the idle is a little bit on the high side. So we are going to take a uh, screwdriver and set the idle control a little bit lower. Just a little bit.
until it's going to show 950 or 900. So I'm gonna use a uh, something different. It's just a little problem how I could uh, set it, but now I know it. So whenever you push that button, it's showing four, four cylinders, five, five cylinders and all that. So now I select the three cylinders. If I select one cylinder, it's going completely out. So that's not going to work. Let's see. Not yet set it, so I'm gonna turn the engine off and start it up. That's what I'm gonna do. Seems like the idle can screw a little bit off. And I'll be lower than this, so let's let's see. That sounds about right, 6K. 6,400 is max. That's wrong. that's nice. Correct. Correct setting. Oh yes. Now, so, this is temporarily, as I already said. Now we should make it permanent, which is gonna be nice. It's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay. Um, now, I mean, I still do not have that bracket, which is normally going into place on the dash or on the sides. So these three wires. I mean, only the light switch. I'm gonna make a difference since this is not using lots of power. So I'm gonna leave the red wire and the white wire. I'm gonna leave that on there. I mean, that does not make any change. Um, that also counts for the black one. Just make it a permanent uh, thing on the battery. Making the green one a little bit better, not just hanging out. So, and the yellow one is coming on a switch, which is gonna be the hardest part in this case. Anyways. We're gonna take it off and uh, we are back with you guys whenever the at least the cables are done. So be prepared. All right guys, so it finally is actually done somehow. It's not how it should go. It should go a little bit different because I mean, yeah, I have other plannings now. I'm limited in time, so it's safe, it's secure. And I don't expect any flames came coming out of the hood soon, but let me show you what I've done here. So, what I've got, what I've done, I have run this this uh, green, uh, green yellow one to the the, um, the uh, bobbin. It's going into the firewall and then suddenly connects to one of the um, how do you call it? Well, those crowns, I could say. So all these three wires, the yellow and green one, they can't see it. The this one, the yellow green one, the blue one, which is the plus terminal, and the brown, which is the negative. 
So I just, uh, what I have done here, the plus terminal goes into three cables uh, from 12 volts. So normally it should go to the light of the RPM gauge itself, um, to the needle of course, and what else was something else? Something else. Oh yeah, of course, the switch, so that it turns on. And of course the negative, which is quite obvious, for the light. That's actually all. So, uh, let's do that. Oh yeah, by the way, not to forget, typical GFDH uh, is way doing. I've got some zip wires. Don't do this at home. Not smart. Not smart though. But it is, it's very tightened up and no explosions. Get in the car, mate. Oh, hi, that was me. Ugh. So, now the only thing that I still have to do here is making those wires a little bit black so it looks a little bit better. And maybe these the the tachometer should not light up very soon. But I try to uh, cut off the light from, uh, from the exterior. Now, actually, I was thinking to put it somewhere here, but uh, well, the cables were still a little bit, little bit short. It's a very nice tiny car, and uh, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys. There we go. Hear the sound and see what it, what it does. Oh yeah, 6K RPM people. Now, that's how I do. So it's a little bit different, took a little bit longer time than uh, actually I expected. I mean, I was thinking, you know what, I just <clears throat> plop it in there and uh, that's fucking it. But trust me, I'm not even done yet. I need to do the yellow cable, of course, <sighs> for the light. Very nice, don't you think? I expected so. Took me lots of time. I think I'm already busy two, three hours, maybe even more. So uh, now guys, I think for me, it's uh, time to uh, let the engine do some revs and less likely without you guys, because I don't have a proper windshield something so you guys can see the RPM gauge. And yes, no, I used, I, I used some duct tape. Yeah, I know, just please don't look at the duct tape, but I used the duct tape to uh, make it uh, holding it a little bit. As I said, I, I still need that, um, well, I still need that gauge cluster, um, which is actually or on this side here, or I'm gonna put it somewhere down there. Huh. Now, trust me, if you lay on the floor like this thing and the chair is maxed, go back and... Uh, now, I definitely could say my... I'm tired just by crawling on the floor. Anyways. People, I hope you liked the uh, video. I hope you did too, friend. And uh, this was gaming from the heart official, which is, hmm. And this video meant for tuning and racing. I see you guys the next time. And I hope you guys enjoyed it.